Do you know what to do when the cue ball is frozen to a cushion? For a shot like this, you can just move the cue ball a butt's width away and shoot, right? I'm just kidding. Pool isn't mini golf. This baby pool trick isn't allowed in the real world. It's just as bad as bridging on top of ball when normal bridging is awkward. That ain't allowed either. Now back to some serious advice. In this video, I cover what to do in a wide range of situations where the cue ball is frozen to a cushion, sometimes with the object ball. First, when needing to shoot the cue ball away from a cushion, you don't need to be elevated like this. You will be much more accurate and effective if you get the cue as level as possible. There is nothing wrong with hitting the cue ball above center if the tip is chalked. You can use a simple rail bridge like this for soft shots, Or you can extend an open bridge beyond the rail like this if you want a longer stroke. Here's an example where the longer stroke is helpful to generate enough speed without too much effort to follow across the table. The reason why you want the cue as level as possible is accuracy. With a near-level cue, if your tip is off-center slightly, by accident or not, the cue ball will still go relatively straight. However, if the cue is elevated with the same slight tip offset from center, the cue ball swerves well offline. Again, always get the cue as level as possible for an accurate hit. Now, if you need to hit a stop shot, as in this 8 ball situation shooting the last stripe, cue elevation is required. And to get draw, like in this game situation, even more cue elevation is required. It can be very difficult to be accurate with this type of shot because the Q-tip needs to be nearly perfectly on the vertical axis of the ball. It helps if you aim in a horizontal position and rise straight up with focus on the object ball. Then make sure the tip is on the cue ball vertical axis and be still during the stroke. See the elevated cue advice page linked in the video description for more information. Now let's look at what to do when both the cue ball and object ball are frozen to the cushion. Here's an example from my Proposition Shots video. Sam is drawing straight back off the 1 to pocket the 8-9 combo. But when she challenges me to make the shot, I miss it badly. What the? Do you know what Sam did to guarantee I couldn't make the shot? When she shot it, the cue ball was here. But for my shot, she put the cue ball here instead, against the cushion. When the cue ball is frozen to a cushion, part of the ball is under the cushion nose. Any downward hit on the cue ball with speed causes the cue ball to hop up a little, and when it does, the cushion nose pushes it away from the rail. Watch the cue ball get pushed away from the rail. This happens with almost any frozen shot along a rail, but the effect is greatest at faster speed and with more cue elevation. Here are more related examples from my Straight Rail Shot Effects video series, starting with the follow shot. A good approach to avoid the cushion push-out effect is to use inside spin to squirt away from the rail and then swerve back. In slow motion, you can see the cue ball squirt to the right and start to swerve back to the left, and throw helps straighten the 11. Here's an example of the same technique being used to get the cue ball past the side pocket. Here's another over a longer distance. With straight draw, it is very difficult or impossible to draw the cue ball straight back while pocketing the ball, especially if the cue is elevated too much. Notice how the cue ball gets pushed away by the cushion. If the cue ball is off the cushion, even just a small amount, this shot is fairly easy to execute. But again, with the cue ball frozen to the cushion, it gets pushed away. However, with the cue as level as possible, and with a small amount of inside spin, this shot can be pocketed. The inside spin allows the cue ball to swerve back a little and throw the object ball to help straighten it. This shot isn't easy, but with a little practice, you can add another weapon to your pool arsenal.
Now let's look at how to control the cue ball when both the cue ball and object ball are frozen to a cushion close to a pocket like this, where we need to get the cue ball up table for the next shot. The trick is to shoot the cue ball into the cushion slightly. The cue ball will compress and rebound off the cushion at an angle into the 11. The pocket will be cheated slightly, allowing the cue ball to come off at a much larger angle than would be possible without the cushion compression. Here, bottom left spin is needed to get shape on the 8 up table. In slow motion, you can clearly see the aim into the cushion. It is difficult to see the slight cushion compression, but it is occurring. Here, with the 8 on the other side of the table, top right spin is needed to get the job done. Now let's look at the unusual situation where the cue ball is sandwiched between the cushion and an object ball. Here's an excerpt from my cushion compression video that covers the effect. If the cushion did not deform, the cue ball would hit the object ball after rebounding. Here's the shot. And here it is in slow motion with a faster speed shot. Notice how the cushion deforms. And notice how the cue ball has lots of clearance on the rebound. This technique works even at an unfavorable angle like this. As you can see, with cushion compression, the cue ball still has plenty of room to clear. I hope you learned a little about how to escape from frozen ball situations. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.